Hey guys, um, me again, what a surprise. Um, I wanna talk about success in a virtual classroom and what that means for math and science class. Um, this is really my set of expectations for you. So um, I wanna make sure that we are all clear before we get into um, what virtual learning really is gonna look like. So let me hit present and we'll get going. Okay. So, really, the first thing that we need to know is, and I want you guys to remember, like, this is all brand new. This was not something that we could have ever prepared for. We have never seen this before. Um, so I don't want anybody to be stressed or overwhelmed. We're all in the same boat, um, and we're all going to figure this out together. Um, so first off, just to go over some of the things that you need to make sure that you no, first off, everything's on Google Classroom. Um, we're gonna be doing interactive lessons through that. Um, we're gonna have virtual classrooms. Um, Microsoft Teams is how we're gonna communicate, especially in office hours. Um, you're gonna have recorded lessons from me, from Ms. Cook, um, but also we're gonna have live lessons. The first step to a successful um, virtual learning experience is having a place for you to learn. Um, you can see in that don't picture, uh, obviously that is a lot of distractions for someone that's trying to learn online. Um, for me personally, I would not be able to focus in that. Um, so really find a place for yourself where you have a hard surface to work on that you can set up your device, that you can have your books with you. That is the best thing. Um, second, you need a routine. If you don't have a routine, you're going to be all over the place. Um, just like, you know, if you don't have a set time when you go to bed or a set time to wake up and then your day just kind of feels like a waste, you need to have a routine. Um, Miss Cook is going to be going through this with you this week. Um, a big thing, it is okay to take breaks. You should not be going nine to four just staring at your computer and doing your work. Um, you need to take brain breaks. We're gonna talk about that later this week. Um, and I'll give you some um, tips and tricks of some good breaks that I think that you guys might benefit from. Um, a big thing. Follow the school dress code. We do not need to see anything that we should not be seeing or anything that you would not um, wear to school. We don't need any profanity on your shirts. We don't need low cut shirts or anything like that. Um, so just make sure that you are following the school dress code. Um, this is a big one just for you guys and we also put it on our virtual school schedule but make sure that you check your email every day and check your google classroom every single day use our office hours if you have any questions at all mine are from 9 to 10 every day miss cooks are from 11 to 12 every day that's when you can just pop in with a question um, and i can try and answer it for you or i can help you with something um, we're going to talk more about office hours right after this video um, if you need help you need to ask uh, especially virtually I can't see all your faces I can't see if you're struggling um, you really 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 have to be your own advocate here and reach out and ask for help um, communication must be course related this is big so I would love to catch up with you guys we can set up times where we can like just catch up and talk but during office hours or during class time you need to stay on topic we don't want to waste anybody's time um, and then also just step nine and our last step follow the same steps your teachers taught you in person in class so I have a math example here like for instance we use a calculator for math um, so use the Desmos calculator that I've linked on my website or on Google classroom um, and then another one we show work in class you need to be showing work at home don't get out of those habits um, some virtual etiquette, um, use the chat feature to ask questions, like if someone else is talking during office hours or during a live lesson, um, just pop your question into the chat so that then it's not interrupting the person that's talking. No sidebar conversations, don't be on your phone texting each other um, or communicating in the chat with each other. Um, mute your microphone so that then it's not super noisy for everybody else in the background. Um, remember that I want you participating. I don't just want you sitting there staring and watching. Um, make sure that you're positive and 
uh, nice and kind, just like if we were in class. And don't forget that the HRMS um, student code of contact conduct <laughs> still applies. Um, and then I linked a picture right here with just 15 rules of online etiquette that, um, or netiquette they call, um, which are just things that you should do um, so that you can kind of look through this. So um, just, I'll read number one, but you can go and read these for yourself, some of which we already talked about. Before posting your question to a discussion board, check if anyone has already asked it. Um, and received a reply, just as you wouldn't repeat a topic of discussion right after it happened in real life, don't do it in discussion boards either. Isn't that surprising? Haven't we talked about that in class? Yes. Um, okay, so that was it kind of on this, uh, that was the last slide. Um, so go back and watch if you want to, um, and then this is also located for you. Um, let me go back to the beginning. This success in a virtual classroom, this is also located for you on um, Google Classroom on the same um, way that you got to this video. Um, and also it is going to be in the virtual learning materials. Hope you're having a great day. I miss you guys. Bye.